Howdy everybody. So, um, I want to do a quick video, well not really quick, I don't know how long this will be. I've seen people try to use screen mode as a streamer cam. Sometimes I get fooled by it because the quality is somehow really good on screen mode. Don't ask me how, I couldn't tell you. So, I just thought I'd give a quick run through. I know I don't use it that much, there's one video where I properly used it, I guess this is the second. Um, but I know the basics and I like have my own tips and tricks that I use. So I thought I might as well, you know, share that to the world if anyone's looking to make their own skits or, like, rec room content in general, right? So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So first of all, let's start off with what you need. So, what you will need is you will need a viewer of any kind. It could be a PC viewer, it could be PS viewer, or it could be a Quest 1 or 2. Any of them that exist, that, well, can play rec room, I know um, you need one of those and you need something that is available to screen out also I know PSVR and PlayStation but like you can't be on both at one on the same PlayStation at least um, so you could be on PSVR and even mobile if you have screen mode on like if you have an app both on mobile would work if you know like screen recording blah 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 or a PC but just make sure whatever you're recording on, you know how to transfer into editing. Like if you record on PlayStation screen mode, if you have a PC viewer on the PlayStation, make sure you know how to send your PlayStation footage over so you can get it and edit it on your PC, if that makes sense. That's the, basic, uh, that's the basics of what you need. I'm going to go through the notifications I have on, well, the account you're seeing being recorded right now. I'm going to show you the notifications that I have turned on and off. So you can get, I guess, the best, not quality, but just the best picture. Because I see some people with, like, the HUD and everything still on, and that's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. Like, zooming in and everything, it's much easier. So, uh, yes, I shall show you that now. So, first of all, what you're all going to do is you want to go onto your watch, obviously. And you want to go to the top right. right. Set. After that, you can see all the audio here. I'll leave it on screen for a second. These are the preferred things anyway that I use. Experience. I regularly have my disabled GIF notifications on because I don't want to get gifted on this account if I'm recording. Um, you can have that on or off or like turn that one off anyway. And I regularly have just all my uh, watch notifications off. Here's the important things. Head buff amount, you want none. Ignore bubble, you want off. And you, you can pair online to anyone. Here's my watch notification preferences. I only have rooms and invites on if I want to invite this like account to be a co-owner of a room for some reason. Or invites if I invite my account somewhere. Then you go to gameplay. Look sensitivity, have it on whatever you want. Invert look, I have off. Auto sprint off. Um, camera relative dance, I have off. Hide control hints, that's a very important one that you want on. And this one's a very important one that you want off. Then there's the advanced. Um, show names, that's a very important one. Turn that off. And that's pretty much it for the uh, settings. Now let's get on to more information. Okay, so here's a personal tip from me. Um, not a lot of people know this or do this even that I've seen. But if you're in a room that you own or co-own or anything like that, I think co-owners can do it. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, if you go onto your watch, and I'll reset it. If you go into this room, settings, go to roles, then you can pay. You can make one for it. But for now, we'll go to everyone. And you will see. Oh, I forgot. Screen most different now. Shared. If you go to the second page, you'll see voice roll off. Preferably to all the way up, it doesn't matter, it can be like a hundred or anything like that. But, the reason I'm doing that is because now in a room, say if you're far away from the camera, you'll be able to be heard loud and clear. If you get what I mean. You won't need to, like, connect your mic to screen mode account and then mute your mic. Because then it just looks awkward that your character isn't speaking, but you actually are speaking, if you get what I mean. 
So yeah, that's just another friendly tip for me. So and it's, it's very useful. I've seen some people do that. I've told and they said that it's very useful and very helpful. So yeah, just keep that one in mind. So another thing that it's not really a mistake, but there's no saying to turn it off yet, or there could be one, but I just overlooked it. Is if I go, say I'm trying to do a fight scene and I want a first person view, and I do like that or something, you might be yeah, yeah I saw it there for a second. You are able to see like a green outline as if to party up. Hopefully there's a setting to remove this for screen mode. Because that would be amazing. But it's a very common thing that I see in a lot of videos and you probably do as well and skits is when they're like waving, it goes to high five or like handshake or stuff like that. So the best way to avoid this is to not really face the camera. Like I get some scenes you'll need to and you may need to take multiple shots and just do your hands like a different way so that they're not you know like facing this or that or like do like that or something i don't think it catches like that or anything and you may need to like check back your footage a lot and a lot and a lot and yada yada if you want your video to be the the best quality it can be if that makes sense um i hope it does it's regularly all the stuff that i say doesn't make sense but i hope you're catching on to this and yeah that's just another tip is to try your best to avoid that because you can see it just makes the video look much worse I don't know how it does it because the videos are still great that I see with it but it just makes it look a lot worse if that makes sense so yeah that's just another tip from okay so I have two final tips and um, one of them is not really well not really a tip but just like I guess not really a fact I don't know what I'd call it but it is you need to have a decently stable internet connection because you don't want like you don't want your viewer self to be lagging for the camera because that makes the video also look worse. And you may be asking, why am I standing in front of a green screen because this is the next tip. If I go up to the camera and do stuff like this, because this is a green screen, it won't capture it. So any green screen footage to do, you can like punch the camera or do whatever you want. And it's perfectly fine. But I don't know if that works for the green screen like uh, prop or I guess thing, you know, that you can spawn and want to make a pen now. I'm using the old way to do because I think it's better, much better. Um, the signs, if you recolor them, which there's certain ways to recolor them. There's probably tutorials if you look them up or ask like a builder. They'll probably know how to recolor them. Or go to the YouTube template. There's a green screen there with them and you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. Like make your own YouTube template because it's one of the base rooms. And yeah, have a blast. So that's all the tips that I have. And I guess... I guess the only way to prove that they work is to show you that they work. So I guess I got to get working on my own skit here. Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, you'll see it in literally just a couple of seconds. So yeah, that's all the tips. I hope you found them helpful. Now let's move on to whatever the hell I made. Okay, so they added an update literally just a couple of minutes ago as we're recording this. So as you can see, show voice lines. That the, uh, That's the voice lines that when you're speaking... Um, I'd recommend turn them off because it is like if you just want your mouth to move turn them off you can keep them on if you want if you want to show the law like the lines when you're speaking and all that I didn't know that, um, the update came out after I recorded this next part of what I made but there's no real speaking in it so I guess that's all right so uh, yeah let's just get on to that Oh, my God.